you ain't nasty, don't at me. I've been working all day. I like to run the streets till it's dark out and come home, blow your back out. I hope that's okay. Hey guys, it's Caitlin and I'm back with another video. So today I am going to be doing an everyday makeup routine which has been requested a while ago and I don't know why I thought I been did one but I guess I have it. So I'm just going to show you guys my everyday makeup routine. Um, I don't know why my camera is not focusing but you know it's whatever. So I'm going to just start and let you guys see my in-depth makeup routine. Y'all oh close up and personal so I'm gonna just do my makeup and honestly I don't think I'm gonna talk I think I'm gonna just do my makeup and show you guys the products that I'm using and that's it um so yeah okay so right now I have I just start with a bare face I have a little bit of pimples just a little bit not a lot um, it's not that much. My camera's being dumb. I don't want to be zooming in and stuff. So, it's okay. But, yeah. I just want to show you guys my everyday makeup routine. Um, you know, just the usual. But, I'm going to just lay out all the products I'm going to be using right now. And stuff like that. So, first, before I do anything... I usually do my foundation. My foundation is a little bit dark right now. So don't say nothing. But yeah. I like to do that first. So I use the Becca Cosmetics Foundation. If y'all could see a little bit, it's kind of upside down. And I'm in the shade Amber. Um, but I'm pretty sure my skin color is different now because... This one's a little bit dark, but yeah, it's all right. So I'm gonna just start off by dabbing it with my beauty blender, and my beauty blender is a little bit dirty, but I'm gonna just put it on my beauty blender, you know. And y'all can probably tell that it's a little bit dark. On camera, or maybe it won't look that dark, but it is a little bit dark. And I don't really care for the under eyes, only because you know, you put concealer over any leak. So, but I start by dabbing it, and then I use. A makeup brush to like fully blend it out. But yeah, if you hear anything in the back, I'm watching a YouTube video. I'm watching my girl Kira. No, she's one of my favorite YouTubers. So I'm watching her in the background. But not really watching. Just a little company slash watching. But yeah. Um, I like, I haven't done it in a long time, actually, as a matter of fact, so, no. And I only want to do it because right now I'm... Right now, I want to take some pictures. Um, and because I have eyelashes taped on right now too, so I was like, you know what? Might as well. Oh, so I put a little bit of makeup on my forehead, but not too much. Only mainly around like the brow area. And I pat my head, my forehead hard because I like to blend it out in your forehead. It's probably one of the hardest ones to blend out, not even gonna lie. No one's gonna be looking all 
button and we ain't having that. You feel me? But yeah, I would have been you listening to some music, but you know, you to be copywriting and I don't have time for that. So, I decided I'm not going to do any music today. So, it's just me and you. So, you see how it kind of looks a little dark? But I'm going to light it now with my concealer in two ways. But, it's just because this foundation is dark. And I don't want to make it as it is, kind of. Only a little bit. So, I just lighten it with my concealer instead of buying a whole new foundation. Because, if I already don't want makeup, like, what's the point of buying a whole new foundation? Like, I remember I used to her makeup all the time and now I just don't but yeah honestly I'm talking but I'm, I might find a way to put music in the background because I just wanted to be real fast get rid of me next I do the Tarte concealer won't be able to see but yeah Tarte and I use the shade medium tan um, actually, this is see what I use, but I'm gonna do my eyebrows real quick because I forgot about my eyebrows. I'm doing a pamper with me video right now, so I get my eyebrows done tomorrow finally because they're looking a little crazy, you know. So I'm gonna do them real quick. And it feels so much better having eyelash extensions because I don't have to freaking, like, put on fake eyelashes, you know? Because that's so low-key, the part I hated about the makeup. Like, I love the outcome, but I hate putting them on. Because when they wouldn't sit right, then I'm just like, dang. I gotta start over. But with allergy extensions are already done. video for a while I just haven't because I'm a little lazy what am I saying what doing the eyebrows eyebrows only really take a second to like this is like the easiest part for me. Maybe only because I already mastered how I do my eyebrows. Maybe start going to the gym too. Like, there's much sweating to do. Because I'm currently weight training. Because I'm getting a little chunky. So it's time to start working it off. My eyes will look probably crazy to you right now, but I'm just gonna wait till I put the concealer. Wait till I put the concealer, baby. Because it's me look right now. Per this time, to decide to my concealer under my eyes. Thin on my nose, thin on my chin, and I 
right here and right here to lighten it up. And then I use some my rattles. The only thing why I should stand when doing her makeup is that take the silver part under the eyebrows. It's kind of scary. Because this look. You get freaking concealer on your lashes. So that's how it looks. Face looking crazy, but it's okay. Trust me. Then I just blend it in the concealer. And don't be don't worry, I use my foundation brush. To cover up more. Look at the eyelash hanging. I've been trying to take the eyelash off. Because it's just being hanging. Then I get my little foundation brush and I kind of blend it out a little bit on my face because so the concealer I make sure I blend it out because the worst thing is having not blend my brows and then I get my brow gel and I put it on my brows and I only use a little bit because I honestly just needed to like set my brows on Oh my gosh, my camera's about to die. Crazy. But yeah, this is how it works. And honestly, if my camera dies, I'm going to just come back and finish the makeup look for you guys. But I'm going to try to finish as fast as I can. Next. 
I went with some powder. I used the Fenty loose powder and I'm in the color Honey. So, yes. And I'm mainly doing my eyes. That's pretty much my eyes. So honestly, I'm gonna try to my powder my bronzer real quick on the camera. You know, just you know, make it a little bronze. Little bronze. Got a haircut. So then I could. Finish. And then I put bronzer on my eyelids as well. And that's it. So I don't use highlighter as of right now because I don't really have any. And then I just so I just put concealer on my bottom of my lashes. So I have thick eyelashes on. And then I'm gonna do my lip liner off camera only because you know my camera's about to die. So I'll be right back with the finished look. Okay, guys, I'm back with the finished look. How do you guys like it? Period. So I used the lip combo chestnut from Mac, and it's really dark. And then I used my Huda Beauty lip. Um, and I just wanted to close out the video, you know, you gotta finish it with the glasses. But I wanted to finish the video and come on here and say thank you guys for watching and hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you guys watch all my other videos and have a blessed day. And I hope you guys really enjoy my everyday makeup routine because this is literally what I do when I do do my makeup every day. If I go somewhere, I just want to do a little errands or something like that. Um... But yeah, I'm going to go take some pictures. I hope you guys enjoyed and like this makeup look. And I can't wait to do some more makeup looks. Just let me know. I'm thinking about doing like a little natural glam makeup look soon. And I'll see you guys later. I love you guys. I like to run the streets till it's dark out. And come home, blow your back out. I hope that's okay. I can't leave you alone.